Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome into week 15 NFL Rundown. I'm your buddy, Chopadong, and this little segment is brought to you by DFSArmy.com. One-stop shopping, all things daily fantasy sports. Our NBA product is cranking up. Our college products are off the charts. MMA, NASCAR, PGA, when it comes back around. All of these sports are yours at a VIP experience where we unlock every tool, every coach, Everything that we have to offer for you in your to get answers to your feedback and become a better DFS player, no matter what sport it is that you play. That's what we do at DFSArmy.com. We are originally founded upon coaching players up and making them better players, and our track record proves it. We just popped two more uh, $10,000 winners last night in the preseason NBA, and to be honest with you, we had, I think it was a, a guy cashed 149 of his 150 lineups. We had another guy who was in the top, like I think we had 18 of the top 20 in one of the FanDuel tournaments that were all DFS Army helmets. Uh, it's just, time is of the essence. Time is now to get in here and join the community. DFSArmy.com, coupon code CHOP, C-H-O-P, triggers the discount that you're going to want to get you 20% off the retail price every single month that you stay a member. And Little Birdie told me prices are probably going up on January 1st. That means that you need to lock in now. You have two weeks to do it. Get in here, grandfather in your price so that if future price increases happen, nothing changes with yours. That is key, and that's my tip to you, my friend, because I appreciate you following along, subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, the occasional comments and stuff are great. The feedback has been awesome for this series, which is why we're going to continue doing it. If you're not familiar with the series, this is the NFL Rundown, where we're going to talk position by position, quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, defenses. In terms of finding the best of the best and trimming the player pool down to the safest players with the highest floors that are also in smash ceiling spots. And from there, and you know, last couple of weeks it's been pretty hard to find. But that's what it gives us a helicopter view of the slate, and then we can sit back with our little notes and our little cheat sheets that we've built ourselves, and then wait for the coaches to put out theirs, compare, contrast, check off this guy, maybe eliminate this guy, maybe add this guy to our player pool, create cash lineups that are very, very strong, and then turn around and take a few pivots off of those and create GPP winning lineups from there. We will go back in, we will discuss fantasy points per dollar, and ownership reports when those hit the domination station after we get through these positions and formulate a little bit of an idea about this about the slate this week and then we'll come back and we'll do a little cheat sheet comparison sometimes i throw in a domination station setup video where i show you the ins and outs of a little bit of making some rules uh, i've been asked to go back through the millie making winning lineup uh for our vips maybe discuss the where the guy you know took his leverage and where he did a good job and whatnot we'll we'll probably tackle that at some point this week so this series is something you need access to and i only release typically one of these videos for free every single week the rest are locked up for our vips so anywho without further ado let's do quarterbacks and running backs because it just doesn't really take that much time to be honest with you and obviously follow me out on social media i go into the nfl research station at dfsarmy.com and i come down here whether you play DraftKings or FanDuel, it doesn't really matter to me because these projections are going to update through the week They're, they don't matter right now and we're talking about statistics so that doesn't change from one side to the other. So I typically just use the FanDuel side, whatever. We have a sorting issue in Excel that doesn't work right now, so you have to use this little guy down here in the corner and pop out the new sheet directly from Excel. And from there, you can get in here to the tabs that you want to use. I've turned off the evening games, and we've got some Saturday games to worry about. So when I turned off these evening games so that I can just focus on the main slate, and I do that by holding down the control key and then just going click, click and turn them off. I also had to come over here and double check that all these teams are not on the Saturday games and Buffalo and Denver of course are not on the Sunday main slate so I had to click them off doing the same thing. Hold down the control key, click, click, off they go. Now I'm looking at the main slate, the 11 games or whatever it is. And if I'm looking at the quarterback spot, what I want to find in terms of quarterbacks is very very simple. I want a home quarterback, I want a favored quarterback, I want one that is efficient, not necessarily a volume thrower, but an efficient quarterback. And I want one implied to score a lot of points. And the reason why is because those historically are the categories that lead to paying off your salary. They are in the best situations. They perform the best. No, 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 always. Patrick Mahomes on the road is a fine choice. Russell Wilson on the road can be a fine choice. But you'd rather have Tom Brady at home. You'd rather have... Um, 
I don't know. Jared Goff, if he's a tournament play, he's going to perform better at home than on the road. Kirk Cousins at home instead of on the road. Sometimes you can find these little diamonds in the rough, uh, you know, Justin Herbert or something like that. You'd prefer to take these guys at home, Aaron Rodgers. You'd prefer to take these guys at home rather than on the road most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. You'd obviously rather see them favored because the game script favors them scoring more points in the game than the other guys. You'd like to see them implied to score a lot of points. You'd rather see them score 35 points than 20 points. I think that stuff is all self-explanatory, but not many people are just putting that to paper, or at least they're overthinking this and trying to make it too complex when really simple works when we're talking about just paring down who's in the best situation. I'm not discussing who's the better player. I'm discussing who's the better situation. And right now, if we sort that out, I come over here to the Vegas Lions section of the research station. I sort team total by descending order, and that brings all the big implied totals to the top. So you can see Jared Goff, Lamar Jackson, Phillip Rivers, Tom Brady, these guys all pop to the top, right? These guys are all favored as well. That's not a coincidence. Sometimes you'll find a dog in here in a game that is forecast to shoot out, but a lot of times it's the favored guys. So we've already knocked off implied to score and favored if we come down here to just about Kirk Cousins, right? We don't need to go too much lower in this. We're starting to not score as many points as these guys up here, so these guys would be preferable. I can come over here and look at anyone above Kirk Cousins for the home team. Jared Goff, Lamar Jackson, Phillip Rivers. Yes, Phillip Rivers is in play this week, possibly. Uh, Kyler Murray, maybe. I, I don't see him rushing near the goal line as much, so that's, you know, again, this is a situation, not necessarily the player that we're focused on right now. And, of course, Kirk Cousins against Chicago. If you wanted to, you can scroll over a little bit further. And you can look at the points given up by the position. And you can say, well, Jared Goff, Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady, all in good spots. Tom Brady wasn't at home, or we would have listed him, but doesn't mean he's in a good doesn't mean he's not in a good spot. Right? Come down to Kirk Cousins, middling. Uh, actually, Chicago top 10 secondary. So you might not use them. And then when you want to look at the efficiency numbers, you have to bounce outside of the network a little bit. And you have to go to like an ESPN and search total QBR. And you'll find Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Drew Brees, Dak Prescott, Ryan Tannehill, Josh Allen, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Derek Carr, Baker, May Baker Mayfield. These guys are not necessarily on this list that, of names that we've already pulled out. So that doesn't mean that I'm going to choose the 13th rated guy over the 22nd rated guy, but I am going to take a note of Jared Goff being top on our list, at least in the, in the sorting that we did by the research station, and say, eh, not a very efficient quarterback, might be more of a GPP play right? I'm looking for cash plays. Kirk Cousins might be more of a GPP play. And I'm not really seeing any off the top of my head out of this grouping. I mean, are you guaranteed that Lamar isn't going to get the trots again? And he's going to, I mean, who knows, right? This is pretty wide open and it sucks because usually we get a pretty definitive call or two in this batch and we didn't get it this week. So we're going to have to sit back, dig a little deeper, talk to our VIPs, talk to our coaches, etc., and see if we can't parse through some of these. But some of these names are going to come to the top and are going to be utilized as cash viable plays this week. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We just don't know. It's not obvious as to which one it is yet. Okay. Now, going over to the running back matchups, we're going to do similar stuff over here. Because what I've done here in advance is I've searched, uh, I've sorted the rushing attempts per game because this is what you want home teams, you want favored teams, again, positive game script, implied to score a lot of points, of course. Um, big spreads do help a little bit with the game script, but not too historically effective at predicting who's going to pay off their salary. You, what you want is you want volume here. Instead of an efficient quarterback, you want a volume running back. Somebody's going to touch the ball a lot. That's targets and receptions, and that's also rushing attempts per game. One thing I look for is goal line work inside the 10, inside the five. Those are your key touches to get in a game. So I want a lot of touches. I want passing game work. That includes third down work most of the time. And I want uh, goal line work because that's where the points really get scored. Anything in between the 20s is kind of empty touches. Receptions lead to scoring and goal line work leads to scoring. Those are the things you want to key on in a favorable game situation. Home, favored, implied to score a lot of points. Okay, so when I sort that stuff to the top, I can start looking at these guys here. Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, James Robinson, Kenyon Drake, Ezekiel Elliott, uh, of all people. Who is at home? Well, looky there. Zeke's in, the, in play, I guess. Uh, Kenyon Drake's been getting more touches lately. 
which is interesting because he's been getting goal line work because they're protecting Kyler Murray's shoulder, I suspect. Uh, Dalvin Cook, always in a good spot. Uh, Todd Gurley, pot potential. These are not necessarily cash safe plays. At least they don't pop off your head. Everyone's been using David Montgomery lately, but he's on the road this week against Minnesota. Uh, Jonathan Taylor's been peaking a little bit lately. These are names that we need to have on our radar. But let's say you come down here a little bit to guys that aren't getting quite as many touches. Miles Sanders. I've heard his name mentioned already this week. Alvin Kamara, always in play. Chris Carson, if he's healthy, always in play. They're not sitting in the most favorable situation, but you know what? Neither are some of these guys. So now I can open up and expand my horizons just a smidge. Before I show you what I want to show you next, I do want to come over here. Let's look for some softer matchups. Derrick Henry in Detroit, of course. That would supersede probably being at home versus the road because you're playing such a soft running defense that you can probably play a high-volume guy like Derrick Henry in that situation in a cash game. Down here, Jonathan Taylor needs to you know, maybe warrant some mentions. Looking at what Raheem Mustard, no, top 10 here in Miles Sanders. There's a bottom 20 defense. Evan Kamara, what if he rips up Kansas City this week, right? Chris Carson playing a tough defense in Washington, so maybe not. But these are the types of situations that we're trying to kind of get our mind wrapped around this week while we're looking at this slate at the first glance. So what do I do next? Let's say I had down here a little bit lower on the list. Miles Sanders, Alvin Kamara, and Chris Carson. And I was like, "What are, are those guys viable? Are those guys really worth it? Well, I would come over to our research lab, NFL tab, research lab, open that guy up, open the navigation page, and click the fantasy points scoring week to week. I can look at targets and touches and snap counts and trends and all this stuff. And I can look at, this is an interactive tool that lets me filter and sort out certain things and compare and contrast and watch trends. It is a badass tool. I can sort by team, sort by week. I can include just the last four weeks if I want. I can do a whole bunch of fancy stuff with this, either DraftKings or FanDuel centric, and really get a little bit of an idea over these guys. Now, because I can carry three players, choose up to three players, right? I can carry up to three players. Kamara, Carson, and Miles Sanders were checked. And what I'm looking at is just fantasy point scoring. Obviously, Kamara has the ceiling, right? 30, 40, 30. Big ceiling. Higher than all these guys. But I look down here at the floors, and Kamara's got a pretty high floor, except for the last couple of weeks when Taysom Hill took over, right? Now I look down here, there's a pretty low floor on Chris Carson as well when he's been hurt. But when he's been healthy, he's been pretty viable, somewhere between 13 and 20 points, you know, with the outliers down around 10, 12 points. And then I can look, you know, in early season, he, he did fine, even though they were throwing a lot. And then I look at a Miles Sanders. I was looking to see if Miles Sanders has come on recently, and he has not. So that's not anything that's too intriguing or interesting to me in terms of Miles Sanders. I have no reason to believe the guy is going to have some great week. And I need to see a floor for a cash game type of player. And 9.6 points and 6.2 points and whatever, 10.1 points, that's not a floor. His salary is not cheap enough that that actually helps me. I need a salary to be a lot cheaper. But his ceiling is not there to make me even want to take a chance on his floor right? On his lower floor. And in cash games, we're searching for that floor first, and then we want to see a ceiling. If it wasn't for these last couple of weeks with the big shift in Taysom Hill taking over, I'd be looking at Kamara all day long. Very high floor, super high ceiling, and he's in a decent spot this week. So for tournament plays, it'd be something that I would definitely look into. Um, with Taysom Hill running, I want to see, I saw he got seven or eight targets last week, so maybe they're starting to throw him. Maybe they're designing some plays to him again. And if that's the case, he does become cash relevant again because he's a remarkably efficient running back. 13 touches and seven uh, targets is about 20 touches per game that he's getting, and we know what he does with big playability, right? And that would be a little sneaky. You might even get him a little bit lower ownership. So that would kind of be one tip to you. But this has generally been, we haven't found a lot yet, but we've got some ideas, we've got some names kind of put in the back of our head for what we're trying to do this week and formulate our game plans. But we're going to turn to our coaches and more detailed research down the road too. So this is just a first look, NFL Rundown Week 14. I'm chopping on DFSArmy.com. Use that coupon code CHOP, like, and subscribe to the video down below. Jump in here and become a VIP before prices go up. And I'll talk to you on the inside. Take care, guys.